Halloween started. It's difficult to tell the exact start date because it kind of drifted around with us really doing nothing but rehearsing for a good 18 months and one of the founding members spent a lot of time overseas. So. It was really kind of like 1982 that we first started doing anything, uh, playing regularly, and that was the time that we recorded the Dunedin Double. Um, and by that stage, soon after that, we ended up with, we got this kind of like first really stable lineup that we had, which was uh, Jane Dodd and Robbie Yates on bass and drums, respectively. <laughs> written from a, a collection of memories of um, just various band gigs and parties and just general social functions around orientation gigs and general sort of uh, beer swilling, um, reckless abandon <laughs> type of thing. So I mean, lyrically the so song was kind of about, I don't know, about young people, you know, that the crossover from, from innocence to... <laughs> to wrecking themselves. With that album, we pretty much looked at trying to make it almost as ununified product as possible. Um, looked at every song and tried to make the sound of every individual song as individual as possible so that more or less the song, the next song you got to was almost like a total shock in terms of the sound that it was projecting. Especially after Bird Dog, some disenchanted evening was um, we, we sort of wanted to do something that was stripped back after all the instrumental orchestral excesses of Bird Dog. We wanted to do something that was stripped back to something more like the three piece band. Which is a nice idea, but I think in retrospect the material probably didn't, <laughs> probably needed to have been fleshed out a lot more. Um, it probably wasn't the best album to do as a three piece. interested in, in maintaining an element of humour, even if it's pretty dark. Um, I don't know, certainly it was, it was a, you know, especially some Disenchanted Evening and, and Read the Fly, I've been listening to a lot of Randy Newman over that time, and certainly on some Disenchanted Evening there's a, certainly one or two Randy Newman-esque sort of songs on it. I've always found his sort of music, it's very humorous in the blackest kind of way, so to a certain degree, I was trying to emulate that. I don't think you know, got anywhere near it, frankly, but um, that's certainly what kind of thing that I was so sort of interested in experimenting with at the time. stuff was coming to an end for me, which was sort of something that was tying me here, so we looked further afield and, and got a record deal with Slash in Los Angeles, and I've since done two records with them, so that sort of, that period sort of marked sort of stepping out from a kind of semi-hobby type situation with the band, doing it as professionally as we could, but definitely on a part-time basis to doing it more as a full-time concern, making our lives fit into the Valanes as opposed to the other way around. Why out where? Um, we're all really proud of it, what, what, you know, what we managed to achieve with that record. It's kind of like, um, 
you know, like, was kind of, kind of like doing Hallelujah for me. It was pleasure from one end to the other to do it, and it turned out pretty much the way we wanted it to. Um, by that stage, we'd stepped up to a four-piece thing, and we decided to keep pretty much the guts of the record focused on the band without too much outside instrumentation. And unlike some of the Chinese, I think this was a, it was the right record to do it with in terms of the fact that the songs that we picked for the album suited the four-piece lineup and big guitars. <laughs> Ideally, you know, that's what, what a great gig does for me is that if you see that people are obviously moving physically to it and you really know that you're getting a real emotional point together and, and some of the, you know, the really big moments or the dramatic quiet moments you can kind of hear a pin drop or you can just feel people's breath being taken away by a big crescendo or something. When all those things are working at once and that's, you know, that's the ideal. It's a great gig. Well,